The takeoff tool is used to produce a cut depths and materials report on the currently selected alignment. Uh, that would be the storm drains and, and um, sewer, sanitary sewer associated with that particular alignment. Uh, it reports on cut depths and materials for manholes, catch basins, and pipes. To produce a report, please uh, select the tool and then splash wishes for the uh, range of manholes to be entered. It can produce a, a report on just a small range of manholes. But typically what you'll do is you'll want to report all the manholes on the, on the uh, particular alignment that's selected. So we'll indicate the first manhole. It says uh, it, we can key in the manhole number. We can identify it in plan or we can identify it in profile. It says identify first manhole or catch basin in the range. So I'll, I'll start with the first manhole. Now, you might be tempted to come over here and indicate the last manhole in the profile, but then that would leave the storm drain system out here. If there's a little storm drain system crossing the, crossing the road. And uh, the sewer, sanitary sewer is 1 through 9, yet the uh, catch basin and open-ended pipe is 10 and 11. So the best way to get a report on everything is to... Enter the first manhole, or key in one, and then when it wants the last manhole, cause an error by simply uh, indicating a point in free space. And Splash will automatically give a report of all the manholes. So if we see that manhole 11, which we, are, we call it a manhole, it's actually an open-ended pipe, but number 11 is the last thing we have. So we'll key in 11, and that'll produce our, that'll select our, um, entire range for the alignment. Now the storm sanitary takeoff dialog appears and we can produce a summary only or we can produce a detailed report. So we'll, we'll go ahead with the full report. Now the summary is produced in the uh, splash with ripple through wide format dialog and the detail is produced in the uh, main splash with ripple through dialog. So let's look at the let's look at the summary first. Uh, we'll go to the top and we see that we get a pipe summary first. Now we're looking at eight inch ductile iron pipe in different cuts, four to five, five to six, six to seven. This is the linear footage. Uh, it is measured on a as if it were horizontal. It's a station by station. Uh, length or in in reality it is um, a horizontal measurement across the ground uh, rather than a station because it may not be may not be on the on the center line of the alignment so it's a it's a length of pipe uh, as if the pipe were laying flat now the uh, we see that we're getting 8 inch ductile iron pipe in different cuts and then we get a total of 8 inch ductile iron pipe as we then we get into 12 inch ductile iron pipe and we get a total on uh, 12 inch ductile iron pipe then we're into 8 inch PVC 12 inch PVC and uh, now we're into manholes uh, and catch basin summaries so we have um, one six foot diameter manhole in a six to seven foot cut and that one manhole is a, a, an existing manhole so we really don't have to buy that manhole then we have um, one four foot manhole in a five to six foot cut now the cut is measured for takeoff purposes the cut is measured from the rim now when you're um, if we look at the depth on the manhole, the depth is measured from grade to the lowest invert. But for uh, takeoff purposes, the cut on the manhole is from the rim to the lowest invert because you've got to actually buy yourself a manhole that big, even though you don't have to maybe maybe you don't have to dig it that deep if there's an extension on the on on the rim. Now, so we go on through manholes, and we see a total of uh, seven four-foot 
new manholes. Uh, and then we end up with a, a, a catch basin. And we see more... Uh, we see we have a new drop manhole. Now a drop is defined. Let's window up a little. A drop is defined as a two foot, or it is actually defined by default as a more than uh, 1.98 or more feet of drop. And that assumes we're going to have to buy a drop through the manhole. That value can be edited in the file egdef.sf. That's Engineering Graphics Defaults System File. Now we perform a takeoff on this sewer. If we, if we, and and this is part of this alignment. If we were to then use our tree, select this alignment, and do a takeoff, splash will not count this manhole twice even though it considers that manhole one and you can select it as the beginning of your range splash knows that that manhole actually belongs to actually belongs to this other alignment and uh, that feature is automatic it detects it by by location just a point in passing this this tool coordinate storm sanitary if you coordinate this sewer also will not coordinate that first manhole it assumes this will coordinate it so you don't end up with two points on the same manhole splash refers to this manhole as an equality manhole when it's talking about this alignment it's just a manhole going this way but here manhole one is an equality manhole and if there were a drop on this first manhole if there was a two foot drop on it or more than uh, splash would say that in the takeoff would report that there was a one equality manhole drop that means that you're going to have to build the drop but you don't have to buy the manhole uh, because you've already bought it effectively in the report on the other alignment 